Scorpio. This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. It is for Scorpio's sign, sun, moon, and rising signs. It's an energy reading, so check out all those signs. It's good to know your moon and your rising sign as well as your sun sign. You'll be surprised how much they are impacting you. It's good to get some insight into them. For those of you looking for a deeper reading and to continue the message with me, I have an extended reading. That link is right below and I hope that you can join me. Um, Scorpio, you guys are extraordinary. So thank you so much for the constant support. Um, you can see I'm a little bit chilly today, to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not feeling the greatest, but um, I'm so grateful that you guys are always um, in such support, for firm support of the channel. If you're looking for more content, you can check out Scorpio. Well, no, it's not Scorpio specific, but you can check out Astrology Motivation. That's my second YouTube channel. I'll attach the link above um, for a lot of daily content and the weekly astrology forecast is over there as well as some other stuff. And if you want to join live chats with me, check me out on Instagram. You can find me at born underscore without underscore boundaries. All right, Scorpio, let's go. I'm kind of glad, actually, that I don't know, Scorpio, what's going to happen. Scorpio. 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 You were trying to figure something out. Something didn't make sense to you. Um, this could be this could be in concern to con like concerning King of Swords is here in the past. So some very important decision that you had to make or um, trying to be objective and extremely fair. You could also have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Then we have the Ten of Swords, kind of front and center. Something ended completely done. So the worst had happened. It doesn't mean that it felt good. It probably felt like crap, but Scorpio ultimately, um, it was a sense of, yeah, completely done, finished, over. We have the eight of wands here, um, and, but it was, it was wonky, right? So it's like, it just, opportunity stopped coming in. So what I'm thinking is the thinking was, or the determination was, there was just hurt and suffering and sadness and pain because attention or opportunities or movement and passion had stopped. That's what you were thinking was going on. Eight of Pentacles is here trying to put yourself into your work, trying to um, focus on money, finances, stuff that you can directly control, also distractions for the mind. Uh, swords, a four of swords here trying to reflect on, think about things, think things through to be reflective and then be strong. So it's almost like in some ways there's this, constant dialogue within yourself of um those motherfuckers hurt me um they dump me there's no attention there there's like something has stopped um, um uh, uh things have slowed like interpreting the fact that things had slowed down as the end of something trying to get your mind off of it trying to be objective on the other side like trying to be objective trying to get your mind off of it trying to be strong through it and then we have the six of swords moving on from the seven of swords which is some sort of betrayal finally being able to get over it and get on with it. I wouldn't necessarily say get over it, but definitely get on with things. So ultimately Scorpio, this is the mind fuckery, right? This is the this is the this is the torment that that we do to ourselves when we don't know, we don't have all the facts, but we want answers. And so we start making them up. We start having these inner dialogues with ourselves. 
Sometimes we even have these inner, like inner scenarios of the way that it would play out in our minds or um, um, talking to ourselves out loud. Um, all of those things are happening. Why? Because of the feelings that are churning below of sadness and feeling betrayed and having something end that you really didn't want to end or feeling like there's a loss or an end that's coming, wanting somehow to feel in control of it, but not being able to feel in control of it. Ultimately, all of these things are emotional driven, but they're scraping your brain like nails down a chalkboard. Um, because there's the you don't you don't have the answers that you want that's why and you do want you do want answers there was an am in there is an ambiguity a why a, a kind of gap in what the what the fuck is going on what's happening so let's see if we can't get those answers what the what the fuck is going on and what is happening um have faith in your dreams waxing crescent moon that card is telling me that First of all, dreams are not hard, easy to manifest into reality, right? And there are bumps and scrapes and bruises along every single road, Scorpio. Um, but the reminder of faith, faith is there even when ease of, of conversion into dream, uh, from dreams is not. So ultimately, there is this lacking or lagging of faith when we let our fears take over our brain. And when things aren't moving fast enough, because it's like, listen, do we really have faith in our dreams or are we just rolling with something because it was rolling in the direction we wanted it to roll? And then all of a sudden now something stopped. It's like, okay, I guess that it's not meant to be, but that's not true. The meant to be comes from the heart. The meant to be comes from, but I want this, you know, but not just I want this. This is, this is right. Like I, I like this is something that I, yeah, I definitely still want. We have you are good enough full moon in Virgo. So there was a lot of need to heal the feelings, the emotions. This is the moon energy, right? So feelings of needing to heal or feelings of needing to allow something to slow down, to develop um, in a more robust way instead of rushing and and trying to let them like like rush to the point and hurry and quick. I, I, want, I want the rush. But then... You get the rush and you get there and then what's next? Like, what's the next step? You need another high. Like, especially relationships are not supposed to be addictions, right? They're supposed to be slow and steady. So ultimately, it doesn't have to be about relationships either. The sense of healing yourself to know I'm good enough to take things slow. I'm good enough to trust that, yeah, the next step is going to come. And yeah, this is going somewhere. So I know that in my heart, I know that in my sense of self, so I don't need for things to come right away. Um, this is the one card that's in reverse. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. Ultimately, something was being cultivated, but you did not want to step up to plate and, and make the move because it's in reverse. It's almost like maybe you got the feeling like you shouldn't. Or, but ultimately, because I know, because I'm a water sign, this is what water signs do. We don't ever want to make the first move. We're too afraid of being vulnerable. So there's just this sense of all this craziness and hecticness going on in your brain when you've never even like let it out, right? Swords are also communication. You've never even let it out and gone after it and, and verbally, vocally said, I want this. How do I get it done? It's almost like, listen, at some point, Scorpio, you're going to have to realize that all the spirit work is not so you call it into you without anything you ever having to take a chance. All the spirit work is so that you build yourself up and you develop who you are so that you can make it happen yourself by having the faith and having the self-esteem to say what you need to say and make the move that you need to make and take the risk and even take the hit and the failure. Because ultimately, you haven't really tried. Really, I'm, I'm just going to say this. You haven't really tried your hardest if all you're doing is sitting there over the pot, stirring, 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 mixing spells. But have you, you gone to just talk to a motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes, especially in the spiritual community, we do that. We like, we want to cast our love spells, but we have actually, have we actually gone up to somebody and say, 
I like you. <laughs> you know, I, I really dig you. I think you're beautiful. I think you're wonderful. Would you want to spend some time with me? Uh, it's just amazing how like we don't get how that's casting a spell too. Those are those are spells. Words are spells, right? Well, say them out loud. Don't just say them in the seclusion. Lots of times we fall too much. We fall back on too much about our manifestations. I want to be rich. I want to be rich. I want to be rich. Okay. Well, put the fucking book down, bitch, and get up there and stop fucking start fucking working. Like go back to college, get a higher degree. You know what I'm saying? It's like listen. Enough is enough. There's such a thing as real manifestation, right? And that's what this energy is saying is the real spiritual work has to come from within to say, I'm ready and I'm willing to take these risks outside of myself because I know that I'm strong enough spiritually to survive any kind of pitfalls, downfalls, fallbacks, or failures that I come across. It's not going to deter me because I got that spirit alive inside me. That's really the healthy way to go about manifestation and using even spell work or even like, um, um, you know, manifestation work to just help not just psych yourself up, but really make yourself stronger from the inside out. That's kind of what it, that, that's the secret that we may have been missing here. We may have been skipping over because communications are a key here. There's swords all around. You could say swords are you know, swords are thoughts or pains or sufferings. It's also communications. It's like, have we talked to somebody? Have we asked them or confronted them about moving away from us, walking away from us? Why'd you do that to me? There's a sense of, listen, maybe you need to yell at somebody for real. Maybe you need to talk to somebody and, and, and express your feelings for real. Because there's, there's clearly here somebody has moved away and it's been perceived as a betrayal. They may have, it may have not been a betrayal at all. They may just need to have taken some space for themselves. We're going to get deeper into that. But ultimately, there's a sense of what can I do to encourage my own development and my own strength by just going up and saying, what happened? What's, what's, what's going on? This could also be that you are waiting for a response for somebody because you have reached out. And there hasn't been any reach back. And of course, no answer is an answer. That's something that we have to may have to accept. But also that I have the strength to accept that no answer is an answer. I have the strength to say, okay, I did all I can do. If they're not reaching back, then now I got to get my get back to this is my self worth, right? I know that I'm better than somebody who doesn't see my value. Then we have believe in the impossible. Believe in the impossible. If you have faith in your dreams and you are good enough, then why not be bold and take the first move? What's stopping us? That's what I want to really know. What's, what's stopping Scorpio from being bold and making the first move, except that you think that you've been betrayed here and that you don't owe anybody the first move. Okay. But it, all I'm saying to you is this, it's not about them, it's about you. It's about you deserving happiness. And so if the only way you're going to get your happiness is to get your answers, then fuck what they feel or what they think. Make that phone call to be like, you owe me an explanation. I'm not, I'm not going to let this go. I hate this brewing and this stirring and this sadness and this anger inside me. You got to, you got to, like have enough faith in yourself to go and confront somebody call them out on their shit third eye chakra this is the seeing the far sight right being able to see farther than where your two eyes being able to understand and put everything together including your intuition and then we have something here accelerated motion so in other words you have some psychic insight into why because this is in reverse right why things have stalled so what's the psychic insight what's your psyche telling you let's see oh imagine okay but in, that's not a good thing i think your imagination is in some ways blocking what's really going on because it's not about imagination don't make this shit up find out what's really going on right so what's really going on uh, here and now be in the present moment time to go time to get after something and poised I gotta say it doesn't feel as bad 
as the vibe I'm getting. It doesn't look like in reality it's as bad as maybe you've decided it is. It doesn't look as bad. Can we get a little bit more information here? Like what, what isn't as bad? I just need some specifics, please. This is a different, okay, so the world card is here. In, in other words, this ending or this uh, ambiguous slowing down may not have been anything personal. It's, it's kind of cosmic. When, when the world card comes out, it says it's sort of faded, that this is the time in your life when things start to change. That this is the time in your life when you're going down a different path and then you come out. So you're finding yourself, you're, in other words, you're developing another self. You're butterflying. A sense of opening up those dynamics. Also, Scorpio season is coming up. There's a great deal of abundance here for you. So whatever has closed out of your life, and we got last week that beautiful reading, whatever has closed out of your life, I would say this, let it go. Let it go because it can't come along with you. Let it go. And I know that's hard. And ultimately, letting it go doesn't mean you're not going to make that call and get your answers. Letting it go means that you're letting the fear go of having to make the call yourself because that means, oh, they didn't care about me as much or they weren't as interested. Well, guess what? You already know that. You already know that because they haven't reached out. They've gone maybe radio silent or something, right? Ultimately, that's that's the thing is this sense of of okay, well then I don't. Why would I? Why do I care what they think? Why do I care? Right? I I only care what I think and what I need right now to attain and continue on my ultimate goals. And so, if that recruiter hasn't called you, you're gonna fucking call them, and you're gonna be like, "Hi, I interviewed with you two weeks ago. There was supposed to be a follow up, but I've heard nothing. Can you please give me a response? I would really like that. My number is da 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 da. Call a motherfucker. I guess what this say is saying is you got to be on your own side. It's, it's what has to happen or else it's never going to set right with you and it's going to stew and brew those dark feelings that, that make you feel powerful, but only in the way that a drug makes you feel powerful. And that's what anger is. A fucking drug. It makes you feel powerful when you feel weak. It's a pick me up when you feel vulnerable, but then it's gotten you nowhere. It's done fucking nothing. Ultimately, what this is, is doing something, doing something with what you are feeling inside and what is bubbling and brewing inside. Let's try to get some insights. Yeah, you can do this yourself. You can say goodbye to those people or things that aren't working for you. That's what this is. This is all building up that sense of that sense of you are your own magic. Right? And so you can brew and brew and brew all the magic you want. The greatest magic that you're going to find right now, Scorpio, is that strength inside of yourself to know, I got this. And you do. Because there is a fucking breakthrough. We have leaving things behind that no longer serve you. This could also be the answer to your question. They left you behind because you didn't fit into their life. They left you behind because they felt like they couldn't grow with you. They left you behind because they left you behind because there was a divergence of ways or they were ready to let go. What I know is it is time to let go and somebody's got to make the choice to do it. Now, I'm going to go into the extended. Let me pick another card. Is this Scorpio or them though? Because I almost feel in some ways you're scared that you're going to be left behind. And the only person that can leave you behind is you. You don't want to be left behind. Left behind by what? By something that was like some, listen, some people are, some people are lifetimes, right? Some people are seasons. Let it be what it is for its own right. And, and you, and like, and in doing so, we basically use it to the maximum of its capacity, right? Let a person be a season. 
What did you learn in that season? What did you experience in that season? You needed them there for a while, right? Ultimate, you needed them there for a second, right? We all think like the ultimate perfect, perfect way of being is forever, but that's just not true. Some people, some opportunities are supposed to be for a year, two years, and then they're supposed to be over and we move on to something else. And if you're feeling that push and you should be feeling that push, it's a sense of Scorpio, it's time. It's time for you to move on to something else. Then we have what? We have the 10 of chalices. We have the hangman and we have the knight of chalices. So there's an, there, I'm going to say this to you. There is something finally coming into you that's going to make you extremely happy. Why? It's been caught up. It's been held back. It's been held. It's been held up. What has held it up? I'm not really sure. It could be somebody else's anxiety or needing to heal. It could just be this is major arcana. So the stars hadn't aligned yet. Let's get deeper into this. I'm going to go into the extended. I hope you guys can join me. I'll break it up into career, money, and love so that you know specifically what's going on. And thank you so much for your constant views, guys. I love you so much. I'll see you soon.